some of the uh, project staff as well. It is our pleasure. The Honorable Minister of Information Time, uh, you are welcome to uh, National Water Development Platform, and covered by the Minister of Land, Survey, and Town Planning. Now, essentially, what we have here is to demonstrate that the National uh, Development Platform is a three prong project. Now, we start with uh, there's a component of it that's been handled, which we call the digital area mapping. We will have plane fly all over the state and uh, capture the images within the state. This is one of the initial photos we've captured so far. This will allow, essentially the essence of this, which will allow us to count all the properties within Karu, Lafia, Nasara for a start, and with the possibility of extending to other urban centers. The essence of this, we want to ensure that all properties within, all properties within Nasarawa state are registered and titled by the time we're done. And one of the also uh, areas we are looking at is to have uh, the Nasarawa State, the, the last time uh, we have our maps done was in 1953 by the British and it's not all part of the state that is covered. So this project essentially will allow us to have everything, we fly the whole of Nasarawa State, have the maps ready and at any given time, in case of flood or anything, we're able to zoom to that particular area or print out the map and see uh, what is going on around that area. The second component of it, which is where we are right now, uh, it is Nagis. Nagis essentially, I want us all to imagine the geographic information system in Abuja. This is our own geographic information system. As the um, governor mentioned yesterday, one of the things that we've done since coming on street is to ensure that we have our land, re we reform our land administration system, thereby computerizing it. Every single property in Nasarawa State uh, will be, uh, our aim is to have it uh, computerized, every single inch of land, and by that, uh, we are also ready to roll out the next, uh, what do you call it, the next, the new uh, certificate of occupancy. Essentially in the next two weeks, this is what we are migrating to. What we have in the state right now is a three-page uh, document that the governor had to sign in 18 or 19 different spots. Right now, as soon as we're done, by next week or two weeks, we are migrating to the new system equivalent to Nasarawa. The next thing you see, this is where we are, this is a building. This building will be a service center the, to be headquartered in uh, 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 Lafia. But what this allows us to do, because essentially, as we captured yesterday in our thought, is we are trying to build a twin city to Abuja, just like what Maryland and Virginia are to Washington, D.C. We want to build our own Virginia, Maryland here, where we have complete planned car that is not a dormitory to Abuja, but more of a twin city. The suburbia, people can walk in Abuja and come down to our side, but then how do we do that? We have to have a planned area where it's attractive, where investors can come and feel very confident that they're in a planned environment. The third component of the project, this is where uh, everything between here and here will feed into this. The third component is the planned area. As you can see, we have Abuja here. But as you're coming in here, you will observe that we have a pocket of development in slum-like manner. What we have done is through this contract, we have given out, a part of the contract is to have them plant this into districts like we have them in Abuja. And this extends all the way down to Kefi. So we have a, a total area size of 1,262 square kilometers that is already planned. Once we have these districts in place, all this half hazard development will not be there anymore. Part of our plan also is to do urban renewal. The urban renewal entails that this section of Karu is going to be the next central business district of Karu. And by doing that, 
there are only certain kind of buildings that are allowed to be within the corridors of the road. And finally, uh, the Honorable Minister, we have also the same thing to do in Lafia. We want Lafia not to develop linearly like Karo has done. What we want is to have Lafia develop in circles. Uh, all the, this is the inner city part. We believe that by the time these sections of Lafia are developed well planned, people within these sections will move out and will have the opportunity to do an urban renewal because no human being wants to live in an unplanned area. Now, essentially, this is the concept of what we develop to call the Nasara Development Platform. As for this building, um, the activities that will be captured in this building, I think, will be best explained uh, to you by my project manager, uh, Alegi Jibrin. Thank you, uh, project manager. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Just as it has been explained by the Commissioner extensively, I will just dwell on the activities of NIGIS. Essentially, NIGIS will be a depository, and all aspects of planning that are underway now, be it from Karu to Kefi, Lafia, and other parts of the townships of Nasra State, will be captured into the NIGIS database. And this will be the hub. There will be another office in Lafia, and Lafia will be able to see what is happening here, while here we can also be able to pick information from Lafia. So what he said about the new C of O, just similar to what has taken place in Abuja, is to replicate in a structured, computerized database. All planning inputs, all cadastral maps will be picked and be deposited into the computer database of Niger. The same thing with information from the flight that will be done, the maps, like the sample here, we have the land cover map and property registration. Everything that has been done here and here will end up in this building that we are here right now and our operations will be fully computerized. So land transactions, anything that has to do with property registration, planning, and the base will start with land administration, but in the long run, activities from health ministry, from education, from forestry, environmental management will all be captured and the tools in land snatches can be used by others. The building here is now about to be taken over by the state government. The renovation has been done. It is an old theater, but it has been reconfigured in such a way that it will suit our purpose. Right behind us here is the server room. Here will be the reception. The server room is behind. His Excellency may want to see the server room. Where the servers will be domiciled and will be able to control the operation of all activities in this place. Yeah. Including the door, the all fire pool. Yes, sir. This will be an information center where everybody coming here to seek for information will make inquiry. And uh, from there, you now have the reception. This is a public reception. People who come, there will be chairs here for you. And then another office. As you move along, because it's an old theater, it has been reconfigured in such a way that offices are deployed. These are the computer docks. Everything has been laid off. We have an office here. It goes down to down there where you have the conference room, the training area, the IP offices, and management on the other side. This is essentially where the building is. What is important when we talk about services, we actually mean it. We want the citizens, we want the customers to come in with a smiling face and leave, leave not, not more than an hour later with a smiling face again. Um, obviously the state government wants uh, the landowner's money, 
but you have to make it easy for someone to part with it and meet them um, with an efficient administration and operations so that they don't have to spend hours and hours with them here. Excuse me, please. If you are here with us, then you are here, please. Well, the Honorable Commissioner for Housing, Land, Survey and Town Planning, and the Commissioner for Information, Commissioner for Works, National State, uh, the officers of the company doing this job. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me call for questions. Uh, this used to be um, a theater for it was thought to be a recreational area. We are we thought because of our proximity to Abuja, we could stay some concert here and have some people from uh, Abuja to come from time to time. But it's been reconfigured to create a platform for the urban and regional planning of Karu, uh, Capital Area, and other local governments of uh, Nasrawa State. So we've been taken through a thorough explanation about uh, the concept, the objectives, uh, the anticipated operations here, and the benefits. Uh, I would like to invite questions from uh, the good governance team uh, if you have questions or comments or contributions please. thank you very much yes. thank you honorable minister uh, my name is Mosi Emmanuel civil society organizations on the team um, number one I want to know I'm seeing a picture of UAV here now UAV is for aerial, is okay, whatever it is. Can't Nasra do what you want this to do? Cannot. Because I know that in Niger State, we saw something like this, and they are relating with Nasra to provide them the necessary aerial coverage. Secondly, is this uh, being embarked upon by the current administration in this state? If yes, I am looking at the immediate impact this we have, this project we have, on the masses. Because we must have to start with cleaning the slums and putting it in proper shape before we translate to computerization. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for that brilliant question. Um, with respect to the flying components, you had asked, if I get it very clear, whether Nasria can undertake this or not. Um, when we uh, came on board in 2011, May, I was sworn in in uh, November. The first thing we did was to dig into our archives and see what are the projects that will impact or add our economic value immediately. And this was one of the projects that we knew, and this is the fact, that it was conceptualized by the last administration. There's no doubt about that. But what is the value it has to the state? And we picked on that because the flying had not been done, the planning had not taken place. However, there were subsisting contracts. So what we did was to redesign the contract completely from what it was, had to let some contractors go, and now re-engage some contractors. So whether or not the last administration engaged, Nigeria or not, we were looking at who are best placed to do this project. These are the same team that uh, produce ages in Abuja, and we felt they will add value to what we were looking for. On your second point, uh, with respect to the planning and how it impacts positively on the uh, local uh, persons or persons who live or people of lower realm of society, we believe this project even makes their life better. The reason is this. No human being wants to live in an unplanned area. One of the things this project will do, the roads, the water, the everything will be 
through this project, we will now be able to have a road. If you still stand here and turn your back, you look at the foot of that hill, all you see is slum between here and there. We, by the time we do the planning, no person will want to live in this slum. They would rather move out to the outer side than giving us opportunity to give them a better living standard that they find themselves today. I believe I answered your question uh, correctly. Thank you. One, one remark on the technical side. NASTA are excellent international experts in satellite imagery. We are glad to have them here. And as an expert company, we work hand in hand with them. The satellite that NASDA operates has a resolution of 34 meters. That means this building will be depicted on two pixels. Uh, the satellite is for large overviews. What we do here with the aerial um, photogrammetry is called, we have a resolution of 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters is the smallest thing we can pick up. That, mean, that means in the photographs, in the processed photographs, we can identify every single boundary wall, every footpath, every building, and this is needed for the property registration. And property registration is a major component here, and that again will help, um, will help the people of Nasarawa to Get, to get a um, uh, collateral for, 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 for guarantee for their investments in their, in their property. So this is part of it. Why, why, why do you think you develop a new satellite? That's the question. You have to use, you know, because I'm sure this thing will design the initial for something for the property that perhaps will benefit the Nasarawa State Government. So why do you have to innovate this thing? Well, thank you for a brilliant question. Um, this building, as the Honorable Minister had mentioned, was designed to be a cultural center. But it was a building that had been left to rot. It was not being used. The place was overgrown with grasses. The place was being habited by, uh, I, I don't want to characterize them the wrong way. People were living here, and we felt, why invest money in building a new place when we can reclaim uh, perhaps or uh, negligence in the past, the place was not properly kept, we can reclaim it and make it add value to it. And secondly, this building is strategically located. And with this planning in mind, remember, we're trying to now sort of like have neighborhood center with the districts produced. You don't want to have everybody in Cairo coming here to watch uh, any play. We now decentralize it to neighborhoods. I'm sure the same purpose will be served better. Instead of if somebody lives in Maraba, he's less inclined to come here than if you build uh, the same uh, or similar structure for them in different neighborhoods. So I think our mindset at the time is to make sure that we put this building first into proper use, then now decongest uh, Cairo into the neighborhoods that are properly planned. Yeah, I just want to find out uh, how you intend to integrate uh, the already existing SEO pools. Is there a plan for, uh, I mean, a compensation and also resettlement of people living around this area after the? Honorable Commissioner, sir, my name is e. P. Joseph of the Trust Newspaper. Uh, I recall the governor why he received the honorable minister yesterday said uh, Nedges is we make not only for uh, development control, it was also serve as a, a huge revenue base from where from from, 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 from where huge sums we stream into government post. Uh, can you explain how Nedges how 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 that how Nedges will translate into a huge uh, revenue base for uh, to, to stream uh, funds into government pockets? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Joseph. Um, one of the reasons why we in Nasarawa have accepted to invest about $10 million, 2.7 million naira, into this project is when we came on board, as the governor has said time and again, the state internally generated revenue is less than 200 million a month. The Ministry of Land that we know when I came on board was generating 2 million naira a month in some months, eight, uh, 800,000. Within a period of a year, the program, this project has not kicked in yet. I am here proud to announce to the world, Minister of Land last month hauled in 48 million naira. 48 million naira, that means we've gone, the percentage, I don't know how to put it. Now with this project on stream, our hope 
is by the time we do property registration, right now for eight years or so in Nasarawa, you sort of demystify that. To get a C of O now in Nasarawa is 14 days, at most 21 days. We're giving more C of O's. I remember as I always said, C of O is like a leash you put on someone. We have 99 years to collect revenue for the state. Our hope, given our strategic uh, location next to Abuja, is to be able, just like ages in Abuja, with 8,000 square meters of land, brings in 1.5 billion a month. My dream, and our dream in Nasarawa, is to, within the next, before 2015, be able to haul in close to 3 to 5 billion a month, given that we have 27 square kilometers of land. Once this system is computerized, we believe we can do it. We have the resources. We have the uh, sort of strong political will to do it. Um, on a different question, you were asking about relocation. Uh, um, the already existing CFO, we've already done that seamlessly. All we need to do now, all we are doing, the experts are there. Uh, we will be doing recertification in the next two or three weeks. All CFOs that are out there have to be returned. So you can collect 21st century style CFO, one page CFO, unlike the past, where we have about uh, six, I mean, a three page CFO. We've done that seamlessly with the computerized system, it's going to be easy. With the question you asked with respect to whether we are relocating people from uh, this place, no, we are not. People will be able to stay where they are. All you have now is an approach, unlike Abuja, where the land has been purchased by uh, the government. Here in Nasarawa State, our situation is unique in the sense that all our land are held customarily. You will stay where you are. However, if we have to put a road to give access to the larger for the common good, you will be adequately compensated and you have to move. And I'm sure in every neighborhood, everybody desire to have roads, water, and people will be willing to give up that for the sake of the common good. I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is how far we can come on this. And uh, I believe the need to plan this area has always been uh, the objective of government. I remember in 1999, we brought some consultants from England uh, to plan this area. Um, uh, I believe that this part of Nasarawa is a gold mine that we must develop. We can't leave prime land of this nature uh, to be wasted as it's being done now because there is no planning and slums are developing uh, close to Abuja. Uh, also, because of lack of planning, we have issues of insecurity because you, houses are not numbered, you don't know who is living where. So a number of issues are involved. And the federal government has always requested that states bordering Abuja uh, should do proper planning, uh, both for our development, for the welfare of our people, and to add value to the land. But well, that is exactly what it is. And where you don't have facilities, uh, water, proper streets, lighting systems, uh, it's not good uh, for human habit. We travel out, we know how other places are organized. So I think that uh, that is, uh, is the purpose. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. It's a great honor and pleasure to have hosted you in our national development platform. As a gentleman of the press, no, the Honorable Mr. is the son of the soil. Uh, he's a wonderful ambassador of Nasarawa State. We are always very proud of your activities uh, in and around Nigeria. We are hoping that uh, when this uh, platform is deployed, we will have the honor of having you to grace the occasion uh, in not so distant time. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you.